This is the Cisco 8875, the latest phone in the 8800 series. This model is a touchscreen video capable phone and meeting solution. At release, this phone is intended for WebEx calling and Broadworks with WebEx integration. In the future, releases will include support for third party call controllers and the Cisco Unified Communication Manager. The Cisco 8875 phone provides a video conferencing and meeting system integrated with WebEx, all as part of their desk phone system. If you want a high quality video and meeting device integrated with your desk phone without the expense and space requirements of a full room system, this phone may be a perfect fit for you. In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll introduce you to the Cisco 8875 video phone next. I'll begin with a little tour of the phone itself. This model is first light white, but it is also available in carbon black. The 8875 model has the alphanumeric keypad as well as the hard keys that are traditionally found on Cisco phones. Here you can see the hold, transfer, and conference speaker, mute, and headset, messages, settings, contacts, and volume buttons. Other phone features are configured and used right on the 7-inch video-capable touchscreen. This high-resolution screen has scrollable access to calling features and text-based XML applications. Located above the screen is a 1080p HD camera. It's capable of up to 30 frames per second. The camera can pivot 72 degrees horizontally or 45 degrees vertically, so it's easy to adjust as needed. For privacy, there's a dial on the front where you can twist the privacy shutter closed when it is not in use. Below the screen is a capacitive touch LED button. This serves several purposes. The button itself will wake the phone up from sleep. If you press it when you are navigating through different screens, it will return the display back to the home screen. It also provides some system feedback based off the light level and patterns. For headset support, you have several options to ensure voice quality. On the right side, there is a USB type A port. On the back is a USB type C port. There's also an RJ9 and an auxiliary port. This means you can plug in a Cisco headset that is either analog, Bluetooth, or USB. If there are times when you do not want to use a headset, the speaker is always available. To help with the clear connection, you can turn on the noise removal feature. This removes background noise when you are in a meeting or on a call. In addition, there is an option to optimize for your voice. This selection will remove background noise and background speech. Like our current 8800 series phones, the 8875 includes a 10 slash 100 slash 1000 switch port. The phone can be powered over PoE 802.3 add or via a separate power adapter. This phone supports Wi-Fi, but for it to work, the phone must be powered by a power adapter and not over PoE. Speaking of power, this phone has a new feature, a power button. This is located on the right side of the phone near the bottom. Once the phone is connected to power, press the power button to have the phone enter deep sleep mode. Pressing the power button again will wake the phone up from sleep. It takes about a minute for the phone to be ready for use after waking it up from deep sleep mode. Now that many workers are hybrid, working part of the week from home and then part in the office, workspaces are often combined. Employees may share their desk and their phone with someone else. The hot desking feature scheduled for release in 2023 supports this setup through native sign-in authentication or accessing their personal information with a QR code this helps employees seamlessly transition that one shared desk phone into a personally registered device for their days in the office. I've saved the best for last. This phone and its integration with WebEx. The 8875 unites with WebEx for directories, onboardings, and meetings. You can join your WebEx meetings directly from the phone. It's like a little mini room system. Video and audio conferencing and screen shares are all visible through the phone screen. To use this feature, you just schedule a WebEx meeting like you would normally. Then on the day of the meeting, the phone shows the scheduled meeting on the display. When it's time, 
join the meeting with a touch of a button right on the phone. On the admin advanced menu under the voice phone tab, there is a setting for WebEx. This might be used if you're using WebEx for Broadworks or in the future for third-party call controllers. We can see that WebEx onboarding and the directory are enabled by default, making the process seamless. Well, there you have it. A quick tour of the main features on the Cisco 8875 video phone. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.